Hi, I'm Debbie Pettigrew. I'm from Coral Gables, Florida, and I'm a homestead homie, and you're watching Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. Hope you all have a great day. Hey guys, love the intros. Don't forget, if you want to send one in, just email it to us at the email address in the description box below and just say your name, what state you're from, or where you're from in the world, that you're a homestead homie, and that you're watching Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. Today we're going to talk about sweet potatoes. Um, and growing your potato slips because if you guys aren't doing it, you should be doing it. Yeah, because uh, when we first started doing this, because we were straight from the city folk, um, we would just go and buy slips from the Amish and every year it was like they only had a it certain like amount. It was like pulling teeth because they go crazy for them. They never have enough of them. They were always out of them and then you'd maybe request them earlier until we figured out how easy it is to do it. Yeah, and some of you guys might even be buying your slips right now like through the mail or something like that. So we're going to show you guys how easy it is for you to start your own slips and get ready to plant your sweet potatoes or your yams. Yeah, all you need to do is get a sweet potato. Um, a lot of times at the grocery store, if you even notice, or if you have your potatoes at home and they're starting to get the little buds, then you're already a step ahead. Um, but all you need is, I usually save mine from the year before, and I get them, and you want to put them in water. You put the uh, three toothpicks in about halfway through, and then you're going to put your sweet potato half in and half out in a jar of water. And then in a matter of a week or two, a week or two, you're going to start seeing little roots coming out. And I would put it in the window where you get some sun because then you'll get it'll grow a lot quicker. And then these nice little um, slips are going to start coming out of it. And then when they get to be about five six inches long, you're going to you're going to kind of gently just kind of break them off. And then you'll put make sure you break them off as close to the sweet potato as you can. And then you'll put them in water for them to root, and that'll take you know a week or so, a week or two. Um, you'll start getting roots. You want the roots at least an inch or so before you're going to plant them into the ground. Um, I'm, these are early for us, so right now we're in uh, March. So usually earlier in May, when the weather are, is getting warm and your ground is warm, it's all about ground temperature. It's a long growing season for your potatoes. It can range anywhere from like 100 to 170 days growing your potatoes, depending on the, the breed of them. Um, a breed is the right thing. Depending on the type. The type of, type of sweet potato. So um, what I'm going to probably do when our greenhouse is done, I'm going to go ahead and put these slips in some dirt because it'll probably be way too soon to put them in because it won't be warm enough here. But who knows because we're having early spring it looks like. But the neat thing about them is it only takes a few weeks for this process to go through. So it's early enough for a lot of you guys to go ahead and doing some sweet potatoes because you can get anywhere from 40 to 50 slips from one potato. So yeah. they can grow, you can break them off, they can grow, you can break them off, and then just go ahead and root them. And look at that. I mean, I know I would take, you know, our Amish friends, and we would go from the Mennonite nursery to this nursery. We would wait, we'd go around because no one would ever have enough. They would have to get them for their families, and they never had enough of them because they would forget to do these, you know, put them in in time. So you just need, you know, four or five weeks or so, and then you can start having these slips, and then um, you'll have sweet potatoes. And then when it's time to plant them, when the ground is warm enough, then um, go ahead and plant them about a foot apart in the ground. Just make sure that they're covered really good, the roots are covered, and then water them really, really good, really good, when you first first put them in initially. And uh, you can see our sweet, sweet potato harvest from last year right here. <laughs> And uh, yeah, when you want to make sure too that your soil is kind of loomy, not compacted, um, as with regular potatoes, they want to be able to spread out and get as big as possible. So the looser your soil, the more it's amended with a little bit of sand or just to make it loose, the better off you're going to have um, with your sweet potato growth. Yeah, so just start doing your slips. It's so easy and, and it's wonderful. I just love to look at them in the winter time. I know a lot of times people will have these and they just let them grow all winter because if you keep breaking, breaking them off, They'll keep growing, or you can just keep letting them grow. It looks like beautiful long hair. And then here, another thing I forgot to tell you is um, when you put them in the water, I always think of a sweet potato kind of like how a woman is built. You put the heavier end, that's the bottom part. That's the part that roots. And the more narrow or top is the top. That's so where the fat comes bottom from. in the jar with the yeah, water. That's right. So yeah. that's how you put them in there, and then you'll get your slips, and it's great. I mean, it's like the gift that keeps on giving. I mean, it's awesome, awesome way to get them because it ends up being pricey. You know, we we have never until I started doing this had enough sweet potatoes 
and um, it's so easy to do. And these are the ones we harvested last year, so we know they're heirloom, they're good quality yams. So um, this is just a great tip for you guys. Uh, you still have plenty of time to get your uh, yam uh, uh, roots going, so you guys can have a nice um, root crop, a good healthy food to eat um, all through late summer and fall and winter. And we yeah. said that uh, the uh, date to maturity once you plant them is usually around 100 to 180, 90 days, depending on what type you have. Anything else you want to add to it? No, just get to it. I mean, it's great, and they look pretty in your house, too. And yeah. they, just make sure you put them in the sun, because I put some of these in, in the back room where it was a little cooler, and you can kind of see they're not going as good. Yeah, so, so. they like a little bit of sun. They like the warm weather. They're very cold. Uh, not very cold tolerant. No, they don't like they don't like cold weather at all. And if you guys are uh, starting this, make sure if you have Instagram that you uh, take some pictures and tag us on your pictures so we can see that you guys have your uh, slips going yeah, and you're getting ready going. for planting. Now in our area for regular potatoes, we usually like to have regular potatoes, onions, um, stuff like that in the By ground. St. Patrick's, Saint Day, yeah. Saint Patrick's Day, which is about the 15th or 17th. 17th. Yeah. So um, you know that's an indicator for us. So we know yeah, about how much six, more we have to go. 60. So this is Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. I'm Doug. I'm Stacy. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Don't yeah. forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. <laughs> and leave your comments below if you guys are doing this. Yeah. Or you're going to do it. Yeah, leave your comments below. And don't forget to tag us on Instagram if you do start them. We want to see how we they're going. We want to see your picks. Yeah. yeah. Right. This right. one looks like a duck. All right, we'll see you on the next one. See you guys.